hello and welcome to today's video this is a very cozy video and it is going to be Hamish I can read in 24 hours so it's almost midday and at 12 I'm going to basically just start the challenge um yeah I've picked out a big bunch of books um, and my plan is basically to read as much of them as I can so they're kind of split up into three sections of books. We've got non-fiction, fiction and also fiction but in the form of graphic novels. So starting with the non-fiction, yeah? Yeah. Um, we've got these four little books here. I think these will just be really easy to get through. So we've got George Orwell's Notes on Nationalism. Martin Luther King's Letter from Birmingham Jail, Philosophy of Science, a very short introduction, and Psychedelics. So these are the four non-fiction books, they're all super short, I think they're all under 100 pages. They're all under 135 pages, these are just four smaller books that we can hopefully get through. Then in the normal fiction category, We've got The Mistress of All Evil. Um, I've read three of the books in this kind of like collection and I've really enjoyed them. They're very simple, easy reads, big writing and they're very easy to wrap your head around because they're characters you're already familiar with. And I believe this is also like a middle school read. So it should be nice and easy. And then probably the longest one of the pile is the loneliest girl in the universe this is a bit bigger so probably not the best for just a 24 hour challenge but i'm really excited to get into this one and read it okay and then in the graphic novel section we've got heartstopper quite a big one but the pictures are quite big so i think it should still be easy to get through and yeah this is volume one i haven't read any of them yet obviously because this is volume one but yeah i'm just I heard a lot of good things and I know that volume 4 is coming out at some point this year so yeah I want to get into that and then last but not least is the Umbrella Academy Apocalypse Suite which is the first book in the series um I actually absolutely loved watching the Umbrella Academy so I wanted to give the graphic novel to try and it looks really amazing so very excited about those although reading is something that i really love and i really enjoy it's not something that i necessarily dedicate time to it's more like oh i'm in bed but i'm not tired enough to go to sleep i'll read for a bit or oh i've woken up but i'm not ready to get up yet i'll do a bit of reading so yeah i'm really excited to see how much i can actually read so yeah, it's now 10 to 12, um, I'm going to go set myself up, get myself a drink, some snacks and for now I'm going to start in the living room right behind where it's set up, um, get myself in a cosy blanket and relax and read. I'm really excited about this. Um, the one last thing I want to mention before getting the start in is this is a 24 hour reading challenge and I'm going to try my best to read for as much of that as possible. I think I probably won't need to sleep as much as usual as I'm just going to be sitting around reading but I'm still going to want to sleep at some point so there probably will be 8 hours where I'm sleeping rather than reading. But overall it is encompassing the 24 hours between 12pm on Tuesday the 2nd of March which is today in a few minutes <laughs> and 12pm tomorrow on Wednesday the 3rd of March so that is the plan and yeah so I'm going to start the day off with the George Orwell Notes on Nationalism <laughs> really enjoyed it um it was written during world war ii so like hitler was still around 
thoughts for the future were dependent on winning the war so that was really interesting and then just for the fun of it it ended with football's a load of shit which I couldn't agree with more so yeah quite enjoyed it I'm definitely paraphrasing it didn't actually say football's a load of shit but essentially so yeah I really enjoyed it and I've been joined by a little cat who is fast asleep yeah it's only been just over an hour and it's making me feel really good like I definitely need to do this more often and put time aside to read but yeah I'm gonna go pick in my next book now and uh, I'll catch back in later okay so I've had a bath and in the bath I started the mistress of all evil it was a very long bath and I managed to get through 84 pages so I'm really happy with that and I'm really enjoying it so far like I expected it's just an easy read I actually don't think it's as captivating as the other three that I read in this series so there's like a box set of four so I've read the other three this is the last one I'm still really enjoying it it's just a bit a bit long I've got back into bed because this is where I'm comfy so that's what I'm gonna do but it is now five to four so one book finished one book about a third through and I'm quite happy with how this is going so far okay so I might have taken a bit of a break it is now 20 past seven I'm on page 151 which means I'm almost halfway through so I'm going to pick it back up now and continue reading. I've also got a little one joining me. Can we see him? Hello? Are you tired? Are you tired? o'clock I finished this book um I really enjoyed it I don't think it was as good as the others in this series there's not really a lot I can say it's Melissa Fent's backstory so I can't really give any details and they're, they're spoilery but I did still enjoy it it's very easy to read um there was a lot of the book that wasn't focused on Melissa Fent which I just thought was a bit annoying and long-winded just compared to the previous ones it was considerably more in this one but yeah overall i really enjoyed it so yeah that's one more down and then i've decided i'm going to make another move soon find another spot to set up in and i'm going to start heartstopper um i've read one of them the non-fiction one of the fiction so i thought might as well read one of the graphic novels um yeah, I'm probably just going to set up in the exact same spot downstairs like I did at the start of the day and read. I'm excited about this one. I've heard a lot of good things and I think it should be quite a quick read. So we'll see. Okay, so I read Heartstopper and then I slept for more than 10 hours, which has put quite the dent in this, um, in this reading 24 hour thing. Um, so yeah but it's okay i've now finished three books and i've still got two hours left i think an hour and 40 minutes so yeah but i really enjoyed heartstopper it was so cute it was so nice and it was such a captivating read like i really just wanted to like get to the next page what's happening what's happening and throughout all of this i've been given the book like um ratings on goodreads when i finish them and so far i've given them all four stars except for the last one which i gave three stars but reading this i don't know if i should be given those books four stars or is this a five star read um i think this might have been my first five star read of the year just really enjoyed it yeah um i thought it was really cute so 
and they're gonna figure out one more book to try and read during this challenge but i've only got two of it so it might not happen but i might go for the other graphic novel thinking i might just about be able to finish that in two hours so we will see Okay, so I've just finished the book and I wasn't expecting it, but it's literally, oh, I'm, I've opened it. It's literally one minute to 12. I don't think it's gonna focus, but you can still kind of see it. It says, yeah, 11.59. So I finished four books in the 24 hours and that's with having slept for so long. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm now going to go get dressed for the day because I never got ready this morning because I'd slept for so long and wanted to just keep reading. So yeah, I'm going to go get ready for the day and then I'll come back and do a summary and tell you my thoughts and my thoughts on the final book and everything like that. But yeah, I'm really happy. Four books in 24 hours. Okay, hello. Welcome back. I'm aware this is a weird spot to start the recording. Um, when I set this up, both the cats were asleep on this chair. So of course, now I'm ready to record. They're both gone. <laughs> but yeah, we're, it's cool, we're all here. So yeah, quick round up then I guess. So this was the last book that I read. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, it wasn't bad. I've already watched the TV show and it just felt like the TV show was so much better a lot of the ideas and the basics are in this book but there was just so much better flushed out in the tv show i think i gave it three stars which i don't know i was only an orange about it because i think if it was just standing alone as it was it would probably be more enjoyable than it was having the base knowledge there already so i really i wasn't sure what to give it but i went with three stars just because it didn't all seem there. I still really enjoyed it. It was still a really good book. And I really enjoyed like the drawings. Um, like the actual illustration of it. But I just don't think that this is one for me. So yeah, I guess now getting into the overall overview. So yeah, I read four books in the last 24 hours. And bearing in mind that I slept for about 10 of those hours. I am quite happy with that. Um, I'm definitely considering doing another one of these in the future where I don't sleep. I just think my sleep schedule needs to be more sorted to be able to do that. Let's quickly go over all of the books. So I guess first of all is the fact that these are the ones I ended up reading and these were my potential small books to read and I didn't end up reading these ones. So this is kind of like what I could have read. Um, yeah, so eight of the books I did read, the first one I read was George Orwell, Notes on Nationalism. I enjoyed this, I ended up giving it four stars. I found it really interesting. I didn't enjoy the book enough for what it was on the actual Notes on Nationalism, because I was finding it so much more interesting. Like lots of stuff referring to the Second World War that they didn't know the truth about. And I just found that part of it mm, not more interesting, but that part was captivating me and making me question and think more about how interesting that was um, than the actual basis of the book. So I, I don't know if that's on me, it probably is on me, but that was just my thoughts on it and how I was feeling about it. Mistress of All Evil. This is book four in the Disney like villains books and I've read books one, two and three already and just never got around to reading book four. I found it interesting, I enjoyed it. It wasn't as good as books one, two and three in my opinion. Heartstopper. This is my first five star book of the year so I am very happy with this one. It was really sweet, really easy and i found myself wanting to like get to the next page quicker and quicker it was like oh what's happening next what's happening next and 
I haven't felt that about a book so far this year. I only have volume one, so I'm definitely gonna order volume two and three and volume four comes out this year, so really excited about that. The last book that I read, obviously I've only just given a summary for it, so I'm not gonna go too in depth. I found the characters very interesting and the thing I was really finding interesting was comparing the characters and how they were portrayed in the book compared to how they're portrayed in the TV series and there's quite a few differences. Right now I'm not in a rush to pick up the next volumes in this. I think I'll probably read them at some point. So yeah, I'm quite happy. If you enjoyed the video please do let me know down below, uh, let me know what you thought, let me know any other books you think I should be reading. Um, I'll also link my Goodreads down below for the reviews I left on them. Basically, I think most of them I just give stars, but if there's something I particularly want to say, I do write it as well. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to see more book or bookish content from me, please let me know any ideas down below because I really enjoy books and reading and I don't make a lot of videos about it. So yeah. Do give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe down below and I'll hopefully see you next time, bye!